guys, I'm Anime Kenny Breaking Lopper and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to my channel because I post videos for about like five times a week. So in my previous video, I tried to make this work and it didn't work unfortunately. But but today I was working on this game and I was thinking like how to make it work, how to make it work. Like I tried different kind of state like like different kind of codes like instance number if the instance number will work or if instance exists. What I turned in. Uh, I will show you what I've done uh, after a while but first I want to show you if the game really works or not if there's any sort of bug like that so let's check it out guys See on the screen uh, this is the level that I have been trying to finish and uh, there are so many bugs in the previous video which I've shown you that it was not properly working and I wasn't able to make it work uh, and it was a bit complicated right so I, I try to make it as simple as I can so as you can see here the player is going like this and it's fine it's, a, it's the same thing I've shown in the video but those collect, after collecting three skulls for some reason those skulls were not appearing there and and they were appearing just before everything is collected so it should be like um, as soon as the skulls are collected those things will unlock like that I will show you exactly how it will work so for instance this one okay find out three skulls now I have to go and find out three skulls here and uh, as you can see here we'll go this direction first I will call it the white skull which is the normal one and uh, so let's call it the normal one okay got a normal skull and uh, I hope that's, that it will work so um, okay there's a bug There's still some bugs left, so as you can see, the red skull is here. So I I need to make sure that it's working. So what I'll what I'll do is I'll ignore this skull right now, and then I'll move on to this area where I'll get attacked, obviously. Like this, it was too fast. Holy. Okay, let's go and see uh, how this will work here. Okay, as you can see. It's working this this skull is in here I, we need to bring those two skulls here so the second thing I'll do is I'll just go here and call it the yellow skull and it, I have to see whether it works or not okay okay uh, so let's go and call it this one. Oh wow as you can see here the golden skull is available and the white skull is available now i have to call it the red skull there okay so i'll go back and try this out oh wow i've got the red skull as you can see now i will see whether it will work or not yes as you can see the three skulls are visible and this is what i had planned to do and the next thing i'll do is whether it's working since i have cultured all these skulls there should be the global dot skulls that I have used should be equal plus equals to three. So three skulls and three variable like global global skulls equals to three. So the the door should open up. Okay. I've done it. So yeah, I've shown you this and uh, this is a, and it's really working right now and I, I'm really glad that it's working and uh, this is a I, I have been trying for a few days to fix this and I, I have been trying uh, non-stop and now the finally which thing have worked is uh, I want to show you how things have worked so before that happens as you can see here this is a game maker interface what I've done is uh, I have done some simple stuff like here I had just added this uh, section like item effect and all that stuff this global dot variable would, uh, would work mm, like plus one and uh, when as soon as the it comes to uh, comes at a distance of less than 12 or something similar so it, this same code works on this here too and what I've done is uh, I used a controller object and that controller object uh, checks that whether the global dot skulls is greater than two then the door will unlock and the global dot skulls will be minus cos three minus it will be zero so 
uh, that's the what is the meaning of this and now the another thing I've I've been trying to make it work is uh, whether it will work or not and uh, I just added a controller section here uh, through this dormant uh, skull uh, what I've added is uh, if uh, the I added that uh, if that in instance doesn't exist then uh, the, this this uh, object will be changed into the active one I, I, I've sh shown you that those skulls are appearing on that floor area uh, that is where the skulls should be present so as soon as the player collects that uh, the skulls will be available in that area so if it doesn't exist then this will happen if it doesn't exist the same the same code is added here as well so this is as simple as it is and I've never thought it would be that simple so and as always save it because I, you have to save it like every single second in case something happens like if there's a some sort of like uh, issues here uh, the things will be better so as you can see now I'm working on this uh, this this almost final level this will be the almost the final level and it will be around 30 minutes long like this game so I've been designing this level and that is what I'm doing for a long time and uh, let's design this level and see how things goes okay so many cars over there okay so I'll go and design this stuff here and there will be two railway lines here and the player will get attacked by those the, by the trains okay and the player needs to like they, the player needs to run as fast as it can for life and you have, uh, and the train will come from both the directions so it will be a bit challenging and it's a weird kind of game so there will be trains coming up from uh, from the uh, upper portion and from the lower portion so it will be like this the player needs to be careful from which direction the plane the train is coming and according to that the player need to change it so that's really interesting okay so I thought that okay I have to add something like this and uh, this, is, this is like uh, this is whatever I want to do okay and th there is no AAA players uh, so the AAA developers are creating things differently I'm creating at a sm small level and that's really cool and uh, this is a simple code I've used and this simple code uh, helps uh, with a lot of stuff so and uh, see you can create a great game using simple coding you don't have to be a programming genius in order to do this right and also some developer will say hey you have to be a genius to be able to do this but that's actually not true you can do it with simple programming you, you just have to use this this uh, brain of yours to make it good okay and uh, it's simple as that and you, it, there are various kinds of ways to achieve the same thing by doing the complex programming and stuff and I do things uh, with very simple like in a very simple way so that's weird that I'm able to do it but how I do it I really don't know but somehow it works for me and uh, the next thing is I will add this stuff here Mm, it's a kind of difficult to make it work like this. Okay. This looks good actually. Yeah, kind of. Now what I'll do is I will add another layer, okay? Add a layer of uh, let's add this layer. Now what I'll do is, I'll put the railway line around here. Oops. Okay. Let's find it out. Yeah, it looked good. There will be two railway lines, okay? Not three, only two. And uh, the trains will be come at random. And there, uh, you, when the player visits this area, the player will not be able to see any train or something that is really possible to come out of it and there are no trains at all 
but those trains are nothing but ghost trains okay so ghost trains can appear at any time anywhere on any railway track so that's <laughs> that's what i wanted to make it happen so it's it's kind of weird but this thing will make the game even more interesting okay and that's what i wanted to do and as you can see the level design is happening here it's 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 a lot of work and it doesn't happen in one day because it's a long one the trends can come from any direction at any time and that according to that i will program the stuff and i will show you uh the results very soon after this level design is done okay now one thing is here i have to make some changes like this okay Oops. like this i'll add it uh, uh it's done another one here yeah it looks good actually This is how it is. I will show you up to this and uh, after doing this and I will show you when the other parts of the game is done and I will obviously show you this portion it's really important and this game will be available around uh, next year I'm planning for next year release and uh, not this year because uh, there's so many things happening right now and it's uh, impossible to track down everything so um, I'll keep up with this for you guys and I'll show you again in the next video and if I can and there will be around five five videos a week and um, that's it and uh, I'm trying to be as 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 uh, regular as possible so it's really a bit of challenging for me because I have to do a lot of work so let's give it up to this and uh, in the next video and if I can and there will be around five five videos a week and um, that's it and uh, i'm trying to be as 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 uh, regular as possible so it's really a bit of challenging for me because i have to do a lot of work so let's give it up to this and uh, i hope this video is really helpful for you if it is don't, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel because i post videos for about five times a week and Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.